Hey Sycamore Stars, Mrs. Wassinger here again um, with my dog and Louisa in the background there. Um, I'm gonna share a fun story that our family's read maybe 87 times. Uh, it's a story about a bird and it's written by a guy named Jack Kent. And the story is called Round Robin. It's really goofy. At first, the little robin was like any other baby bird. Most of him was head and the rest of him was hungry. He ate and he ate and he ate until he looked more like a ball than a bird. Everybody called him Round Robin. The other birds fluttered about from tree to tree. Come fly with us, Round Robin, they said. But Round Robin was too fat to fly. When he wanted to go anywhere, he hopped. Hippity hoppity boppity bump. He sometimes more bumps than hops. But mostly he just stayed where he was. All he wanted to do was eat. When fall came, the robins began to fly south. What's that called? Migration. Migration. Come along, round robin, they said. Soon snow will cover the ground and food will be hard to find. So round robin started heading south too. Hippity hoppity bobbity bump. It was slow going. All that hopping made him hungry. So every few minutes he stopped to eat. This slowed him down even more. Round Robin had not gone very far when winter caught up with him. Hopping in the snow was hard work. Poor buddy. It was easier on the roads where automobiles had packed the snow as hard as ice. Hippity hoppity slippity slide. But that was dangerous. <gasps> Yikes. If you don't want to get run over, warned a field mouse, stick to the byways, then get off the road. So Round Robin did. The snow kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper, but Round Robin struggled on. I'm starving, he complained one day. There's nothing at all to eat. Oh, I wouldn't say that, said a fox who suddenly appeared from behind a tree. You look very tasty to me. The fox licked his lips and leaped at Round Robin. Ruh -ruh. Everything happened so fast, Round Robin didn't have time to think. He was even more surprised than the fox when he found himself flying. He wasn't around anymore. It's from all that exercise and nothing to eat said Round Robin as he flew south. He flew and he flew and he flew. And he didn't dare stop until he caught up with the rest of the robins. It was warm and sunny in the south. With no snow on the ground, food was easy to find. And Round Robin was oh so hungry. So he ate and he ate and he ate until he looked more like a ball than a bird. Does this sound familiar? It had taken Round Robin all winter to make the trip. Now it was spring and the robins were beginning to fly north again. Come along, Round Robin, they said. It's time to go home. So Round Robin sighed a deep sigh and started on the trip back north. Hippity hoppity boppity bump. The end. Wasn't that a ridiculous story? I noticed something about a picture on the end here. Right as his friends are getting ready to go back north, back come back to us here in Michigan maybe, I noticed that some of the birds' heads 
were black and some of them were gray. Ayla, do you know why? Um, I think it's because some of them are male and some of them are female. Yes, some of them are male and some are female. In, in birds, is the male, the dad, is he more likely to be darker color or lighter color? Darker color, that's right. Females are often lighter. So if you see a robin outside and his head looks more gray than black, it's probably a female. It's a mom, mama bird. Anyway, thanks for listening to that ridiculous story. I'll see you next time.